Look inside the tent and are surprised by how dry and cozy it feels. It is clean but empty. What a pleasant place to rest your head. Wow, that is a nice tent. Could we sleep here? This seems like the perfect spot. And I am just so tired. It's a trap. So we can't sleep here. We need to go. Oh no, we can't leave yet. We need to stay alert. It takes all your strength to step back from the tent. A wave of weariness washes through you despite your efforts to resist it. Examine the remains of the fire pit. It has been unintended for several hours at the most. The ember draws you in, almost hypnotizing you. The lights and the fire, they are so pretty. The flickering, glowing warm comfort. I wish I could just lie here and... Stay alert, this could be some kind of trap. Captain Obvious! Unable to resist the Shane Siren's call, you trudge back to the tents and quickly collapse and drift into blissful sleep. Immediately. Oh! Immediately. Locked on the board. The trap all along. Is and damage all. That's why I have her special ability for. With the shade destroyed, the fog seems to lift. The camp that was here is ancient, and the remains of the shade's victim all lie as if sleeping still. How long has that spirit lingered there, and how many has it preyed upon? I shudder to think of it. Oh, no more. Sadly not. Play a more tree. Where I need to go is back up there, disturb that grave, get that next juggernaut armor piece. This is the tombstone of a Treventor general. The epitaph makes it clear that this spirit was left to guard over something. Disturb the tombstone. Lovely. Screw the Treventor empire. Oh, let's go to Mage. Mage is bad, Mage is bad, Mage is bad. two pieces. What's left is the chest and gloves. 
I can remember where they're at. this way so I can go over. And death root. That was funny because I could have sworn I picked that up but maybe I didn't. Greetings to you. Now the shroud should be lifted. This way. Almost there. That could pass through no problem because I made friends with the forest. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still, you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well, but you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. Why won't you let me try to settle this dispute? <sighs> you are sent by the treacherous Dalish to kill with a fang. I will not stand by and allow that to happen. Why do you call the Dalish treacherous? You attack them. And they deserve no less. You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill, as all your kind do. We have learned this lesson well. Here, Witherfang protects us. Here we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend Witherfang and this place with our lives. Another creature ahead. No, oh, you asked for it. What? No more. Oh. <laughs> Oh! With a vang, I presume? Knock me on my ass. Ah, and yet another gravestone. It's done. What now? Familiar warding runes are carved into this tombstone. Disturb the wards. Take care of the archers, so it's less things to worry about as we fight the revenant. Yeah. 
Nice! Now I kind of almost died. Another one. Play gloves. All that's left now is the chest. That's gonna be inside the rooms, if I'm not mistaken. We are invaded! Intruders have deceived their way into the forest's heart! Fall back to the ruins! Protect the lady! That's right, run! Run! I'm trying to be merciful. You chose to fight instead of peace. You only have yourselves to blame. No, it's more like you're not safe here, but we don't got much choice. Uh, another battle speeds our way. Damn it, werewolves! Well, it sounds more like fireworks than actual gunshots. But it's Florida, so you never know! It's gonna be locked. That's fine. Well, I guess I missed one. Yay, the air potions. I still go this way. Do, do, do. Nothing down yonder. Mm, there you go, rubble. Ah, spiders. Let's do this. And I'm stuck. And so I shall. Alright. Stop running around so my character has to run around. Just so you can be the right in front of you. Like the only real complaint I have about this game... And I saw the public, and I'm gonna laugh because the game's probably gonna make a liar out of me. But I don't remember it ever being that bad to where I had to constantly, not even myself moving, just the game itself was trying to reposition me into a place to fight. So I can't just fight. Open, please. What's next? Yeah, this way. So I'm guessing somehow the werewolves are coexisting with the spiders. I finished. Seems like an odd allegiance to one another. Uh, I've not gone down there. So that's going to be where we're going to go. Did you hear that? Breathing. There's going to be a goddamn dragon down here. Oh, 
I knew it. Oh, that's a baby dragon. Dragon nonetheless. So you have an old ruin that has werewolves and somehow a dragon. The dragon hasn't tried to eat the werewolf, but it's probably what's trying to eat more than anything. Well, I slayed one dragon, I'll slay another. Thumb counts as a dragon. You became a dragon, totally counts. The question is, will it drop a dragon's kill? Because that would be nice. Drop it. Drop it. No. Aww. Allow me. I could do that for you. Please do. Thank you. Just like you wanted. I finished. The dragon's horde. Ooh. Not bad. Ooh, 19 gold. Thank you. To the lower levels. Starting to get a little hot in here. Ugh. I need proper lighting. No ghost. Don't worry. I like going down much anyways. What now? Can I swear there was a chest, wasn't there? Guess I was mistaken. Well, you know it's gonna be spiders here. Uh, Call it. Hey, spiders. Screw you. Oh, I'm stuck. What? Ah. I'm sick of you, giant ass spiders! Here, hear them getting stuck in the background. You poor child. <laughs> Mommy? Mommy, no matter, son. Are you looking for your mother? I can help you find her. Calm down, what are you seeing? Lovely. Let's take care of these. These remains are kind of hard to tell. I mean, they're not alive, they don't have ears. They very well could be human intruders. But more likely, we was chasing the boy. 
kind of like a history repeating itself type deal. Yeah. Carved Elven Tablet. The Elven Ritual. If you would, please. Thank you. And anybody who doesn't know, there's actually a game-breaking bug that I believe may have been fixed. It's very rare that it happens, but part of the ritual that I'm going to be trying to do, uh, sometimes you can glitch, go through the door that's locked by the ritual, and then by doing so, you're stuck in there because after you complete that little fight in there, you never really finish the ritual, so you're stuck in there. That's why I'm definitely going to go ahead, this will be another one time during a game, I'm going to save. Because, uh, I'll be damned if I'm going to let that affect me. Because I made the mistake of, I thought when I was in there I was okay, and I saved in there. And that completely screwed me over, because I had saved in my last save. The autosave happens when you gain access to that room. Now what I need to do... And there's a trick to this. You got to look at the notes. So it's not going to be that one. Notes. That's not it either. Huh. Let's check out the name of the quest again. The Elven Ritual. Alright, so the first is a filled earthen jug, so I need to fill the, uh, the uh, jug, place it to the altar, and kneel for the altar and pray, taking a sip of water from the jug, and then empty it. So fill, place, kneel, pray, sip, pour. The water in the pool appears cool and clean. It is refreshed from some internal source, perhaps magically. Submerged in the water is what appears to be a small earthen jug. Take the earthen jug. You take the jug out of the pool. It is made of clay and appears to be none the worse for its long submersion. Fill the earthen jug with water. You dip the jug into the water until it fills up completely. Leave the pool alone. The altar is plain and covered in a thin layer of dust. Numerous carvings cover its surface, but most are eroded beyond legibility. I'm going to go ahead and place the fill earthen jug on top of the altar. Fill the jug is now on top of the altar. And kneel before the altar and pray. You kneel before the altar and pray, touching your forehead to the ground as depicted on the tablet. You feel a sense of uh, rightness and approval around you. Uh, examine the earthen jug on the altar. Take a single sip of water from the jug. You carefully take a sip from the water in the jug, then place it on the altar. Take the earthen jug. Leave the altar alone. Then pour it out within. Dump the water and the jug back into the pool. Slowly spill the water out of the jug back in the pool. As soon as the jug is empty, it suddenly shatters, the pieces falling into the pool. And the door is now open. See, the autosave happens when you're in there. And somehow I teleported into that room. Boy, did that suck.
The good thing is, unlike this playthrough, I saved this section for last. Thankfully, in the other playthrough I was doing, the, the forest is the first place I went to. So it wasn't a complete loss, but still sucked pretty bad nonetheless. Now she is a master at herbalism. Though she probably should have put it in combat for the times when she's getting smacked. Oh well, we learn. I've already made plenty of screw up in this playthrough anyways. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I never leveled you up? Huh. Dexterity. Let's put your strength up. Silver Chalice. Alright, skeletons, let's do this. You need help? Are you lost here, Spirit? Taking the juggernaut is going to be better than what I have. 3.15, yes it is. I'll tell you what, the juggernaut armor looks pretty badass too. I like actually most of the armor designs in this game, they're all pretty good. Yes, mental resistance. Just resistances in general. That's awesome. Ooh, wow, even more resistances in general. Woo! So that gives me a total of 20% resistance just about everything. Awesome. And on top of that, uh, mental resistance. I'll take it. I'll gladly take it. And then what I'll do is give Ogren the Legion of the Dead armor, which should be fitting. And go ahead and give the Blood Dragon armor to Sten. So everybody's got really massive good armor. And leave Alistair with the armor that he has because it makes sense story-wise and family-wise and just a whole bunch of other stuff-wise. Come on, skeletons. Let's do this. Broken crate. Hey, flat tree. We don't know what this does. Oh, never mind. Different thing. This elaborate artifact has a gem-like structure that contains what appears to be blood fresh and liquid even after all this time. The gem is vibrating slightly. Mm, show the artifact to other party members. 
We have little knowledge of the magic used by the Elves of our Lathan's time. The Magisters of Tevinter were more interested in subjugating the Elves than recording their history. As it is, I would hazard a guess that the object you're holding is a form of phylactery, meant to hold living essence, perhaps even a spirit of some kind. This appears to be a phylactery of some kind. The essence of a mage kept magically preserved. If that were all it is, however, I would be surprised. It is warm. There is a soul within this stone. That much I can see. Touch the gem. The gem is warm to the touch, and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images of the memories from a life not your own. The presence in the gem is at first alarmed when it senses your touch. It recoils in fear, and the images rush your mind are the ones of imprisonment and loneliness. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. The presence calms and then is racked with indecision. Rather than have you leave, it begs you to stay. More images flash through your mind. Time that the presence has spent trapped within the light gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. The presence has no name and it can't remember. You get the sense of an elf, a mage in glittering silver armor. But this was long ago, remembered as though from a fog. How did you end up in this gem? You see images of great battle, elves and humans both screaming and attempting to flee from terrible presence. What that presence was is blurry and lost to time. The presence fled the destruction by using the life gem, escaping its body. It was sure that someone would come to rescue it, but no one did, not until now. Is there anything I can do for you? There are no images for a time, only a fleeing, a kneeling loneliness, a sense of being trapped in a mind that is only tenuously present any longer. The presence could give you what knowledge remains within it of how to become an arcane warrior. You are no mage yourself, but you could teach such knowledge to those who are. This is all the presence has left to offer any longer. The last of its memories, in return, the presence asks only for one thing from you, oblivion. Yes, I'll try to help you. The images become tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows life gem must be placed on it. Approach the stone altar with the gem. As life gem nears the altar, the presence becomes overcome with emotion. Could an endless nightmare finally be over? The images that are sent to your mind depict a clear question. Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? The presence is ready to teach you now. Yes, give me your memories. The memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the arcane warriors once possessed. Now the presence asks you to keep your promise, release it from its eternal prison. Place the artifact on the stone altar. The last images from the presence are ones of joy. Oblivion will become a relief. Oh, let's just see. Well, they're obviously not happy that I just did that. So it's really the right thing to do. I mean, we're really trapped in there for God knows how long. The souls deserve peace. So much tragedy. All over the place. Everywhere. That's definitely a lot of things to kill. Go, go off the ground. As you desire. 
Well, I don't know what the point of. Well, I guess it's still keeping fighting, but. Cutting uh, the head off of a uh, skeleton just doesn't have the same kind of what? feeling that you get from decapitating something that's alive. As morbid as that sounds, I'm sorry. But just cutting off the head of a skeleton is not really doing much. Oh, can't get in there. Down here I go, I guess. Delighted. Last Flactory. Hey, I remember this. That's the Flactory I was thinking of before. Alright, come on, Revenant. Let's do this. About time and time again. Probably due to the curse that's placed on me when I break the flag tree. Well, you're dead now. Fall forward and accept your fate. Your races, uh, the race that you choose, as well as the class that you choose, is going to have different identifiers that are going to have different effects as far as the